Welcome to another video on the Top Step Trader platform. I'm Brian Weber. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to add indicators and draw trend lines on our chart. So if you haven't watched the first two videos on this, or at least the last video on how to add a chart module and configure it, I would suggest going back before this one, before you continue forward. But if you have, let's jump right in. So if we want to add an indicator to the chart, we simply click this button up here where it says indicators. And then we have a long list uh, of indicators based on categories. So if I want to add a moving average, just say exponential moving average, and it's going to ask me for the period, I'm going to do a 20 EMA, change the color to a, a lighter blue. Uh, I like everything else there. It's fine. Click save, and then it should pop up on my chart. So if I want to edit that indicator, I can double click on it. Let's say I want to make it a little bit thicker right here. So now I have a really thick exponential moving average. So let's go ahead and add a, you have to click back, click on indicators, and we're going to add uh, some type of channels here. So we can add pivot points, which is a pretty common indicator that a lot of people use. So it'll plot the pivot S1, S2, R1, and R2. We can click save. And there we go. I might have to auto fit this chart. Actually, let me go to a different time frame here. Let's go to 30 minute. There we go, looks much better. And actually, I want to make sure we're only seeing the first day, see if they even let you do that. Doesn't look like they do. A lot of platforms usually let you only plot the first day or the most recent day on the pivots, but for some reason, this platform does not let you do that. But either way, we'll continue forward here. Um, for the sake of this, I'm going to remove that because I don't like the way that looks. Let's add a different indicator here. Let's say, let's use some kind of oscillator, maybe just a basic relative strength index RSI. 14 days is cool. So you'll see it plot, plotted below here on the bottom. So that's how you would add indicators. So based on whatever you trade with, you just go in here search through these categories and you can find the ones that you'd like to use and then you can add them to your chart. So next up, let's talk about how we can add or rather draw trend lines and horizontal support and resistance and other types of chart patterns on our chart. So there's a thing called drawing tools right here. So if we click on it, there's a line here. This, is, this would be your basic line that you could draw. So if I want to click down here, near the wick of this candle or the low is, I click it once and then I think I already have the default to extend to the right. So if I wanna draw the uptrend line and I like where it sits right there, I'll just click again and there I have a trend line. So I can also draw horizontal support and resistance. So once I click that horizontal line, then I click again, I can actually place that wherever I want it. Then if I click it again, I can drag it where I want to place it, say put it right here because that used to be resistance. So now we have uh, that as support. Um, yeah, if we have this clicked as a line, it should extend. Let's see if we uncheck that. Yeah, see we want to have it clicked as a line so it extends both ways. Maybe if you want to change the thickness, you can do that here. Pretty simple. You can save these as default templates too. If every time you draw a new horizontal line, if I come in here and do it again, the same type of settings apply. But if I double click it, I'm going to remove it because I don't want it there. So let's come back in here to the drawing tools again. We don't. I don't really use vertical lines too much. Uh, if we want to draw Fibonacci retracements, click there. I usually draw it from the high to low. So click that peak, say to this right here. Uh, right now it's drawn upside down, but you can kind of see where the fib retracement levels are. You got one third and 50% back or halfway back, I like to say. And you can see that provide a nice trade opportunity. Both those levels actually did. If you double click it, I'm pretty sure, uh, yeah, there's no reverse like on other programs. But to, to solve that in a bullish market, if you're drawing like a bull trend, you want to get the fib extensions to the upside, you should probably should draw from the low to the high. And if it's bearish, do it the first way that I did it from the high to the low. So what else we got here? We've got a volume profile. So if I click that and then I click again, 
I just drag as far as I like I that where I click first is the starting point and then where I drag it to and then click again the volume profile will be calculated for those for that price action so you can see here this yellow line in the middle is the puck or the value area and then you have value area high and then you have the value area low uh, which has the edges of the, the volume profile which could provide some decent trading opportunities so what else we got here you can add text so if I just click that and then double click it, I can change the text. Say I wanna just write market is in, is in an uptrend, go long, save. So that's here. For some reason it was blue as default. To move it, you gotta click on that little ball, I guess. And then you can add shapes as, as well. If you don't like lines, you can add rectangles. Say if you're more, that's how you draw your support and resistance. Click it once and then draw it out to wherever you want to see it. And that's pretty much it. It's really simple to use. And if you want to get rid of everything, you can click remove all drawings, but I'm going to leave it there for now. Um, it's pretty simple. Let me go back to current bar. So we zoom out, zoom to the right. So yeah, pretty simple. Let me know if you guys have any questions and any specific indicators or questions that you have on how to add them. If you can't find it, I'd be happy to help. If you guys haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, go ahead and click that logo that's popping up now to receive a notification anytime we upload a video. And we will talk to you guys soon with another one of these videos. And next up, I think we're gonna be talking about placing orders on the chart. So stay tuned for that. All right guys, take care, bye.